Are you single? I'm free. I'm human, but I'm comfortable with me. I'm capable of everything that I need. I'm What's up, you guys? It's Sugar Riri, and I'm back again with another video. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back to all my subscribers and what's up to my new subscribers, what's popping, what's handy, all of it. As you can tell by the title, your girl will do is your girl is doing a QA. I posted um I posted a post on Facebook and on my Snapchat and I was like ask me questions so that I can do a and a on my YouTube channel. Um, I only got two questions on Facebook, but I got a lot of questions on Snapchat. <clears throat> I got a lot of questions on Snapchat. Um, one particular person asked me like three different questions, but a lot of people on my Snap are from my YouTube. So that's why I really, um, I'm really real active on my Snap versus my Facebook, my Twitter, Instagram, because a lot of people um actually respond like when i do want to post video ideas or something like that like a q a they actually respond with questions and they interact so i usually post a lot of stuff on my snap so i'm gonna post my snap right here so you guys can um go um add me on snapchat and you can talk to me you can hit me up whatever i'm cool as a fan but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video because these questions are very, very interesting. And I'm going to answer all these questions, period. The number one question is, some of this stuff, y'all know, y'all don't need to be asking me this stuff, but I'm answering it anyway. How is it having sex with a woman? It's very different, but that shit is so good. Woo! Now I'm just playing, but <laughs> but it's very different, and it's like, oh, it's just it's it's the best. That's all I can say. I mean, try. You could try. You know, you can um, you know, learn for yourself. Period. Period. How can you tell if a girl is gay? I don't know. My intuition is always right. So, that's just... It's like... When you gay, you just know when another person is gay. It's just simple. Uh, the next question is... When did you discover you was gay? Uh, 2010. Um, I had just stopped talking to my um ex. And uh, I always say... My, my my first boyfriend that's the first boyfriend i ever had you know that was the only boyfriend well i done had puppy love but like he was the first real boyfriend that i ever had so it was like after him um before him during him i never thought about girls i never thought about i, I never knew i was you know going to like a girl or be disinterested in women but uh when we broke up it was like a very very it, it like kind of broke my heart because like that was my high school sweetheart and we was together for like four going on five years we was together for a while so it's like it kind of broke my heart and that's that's not why i started talking to women it kind of pushed me to hang out with my friends more and one of my friends um was gay she a stud or whatever and i was hanging out with her a lot and it just kind of like made me want to try it and once i tried it it was like no turning back well, I ain't gonna say no turning back because I was dibbling and dabbling at that time. Like, I was quote unquote, I won't, I won't give myself that label, but I was quote unquote talking to guys and dudes. I wasn't, I wasn't having sex with guys and dudes at the same time, but if I liked the guy, I would talk to a guy. And if I liked the female, I would talk to a female. But I was, I was more, um, like, I, it was more of me talking to men because I was really scared to be gay thinking that i was gonna get judged and all of that extra stuff so i really discovered i was gay in 2010 and um a lot of people ask me how am i gay and i got a child um i basically like when i first started talking to my baby daddy i did not like i was talking to women before him and when i was talking to him he knew that you know i was struggling with the fact that i, I like women and i wasn't coming out with it i was in church i was a dancer so i didn't really 
uh really want to come out being fully gay because i was ministering to people and i didn't want to be like dancing and you know i didn't want that so i didn't really come out and i wasn't really comfortable with who i was so i started talking to him and uh while we were talking you know what i'm saying at first i'm not gonna lie i did not like him i didn't like i didn't want to get to know a guy but his charm and everything, you know, swept me right up off my feet. And I fell in love with him and we ended up having a baby. And then I told him, I told him one day uh, while we were talking, I said, if me and him didn't work out, I would never date another guy again or whatever. And he knew that. Like, he knew that once we broke up, it was in no turning back. Like, I'm not talking to another guy. You know what I'm saying? So, we ended up breaking up. And now... That's all I talked to after him. I, I haven't talked to another guy and that was way in like 2015. So like I don't even look at guys, you know. The next question is, um, are you faithful or a cheater? I am faithful. I'm faithful when you're faithful, period. Um, are you bi? I get this question so much, uh, no I'm not bi. I only t I only date women. Um, not a question, but you're beautiful. Oh, thank you to whoever wrote that, cause I didn't have time to write y'all names. I was just saving y'all chats and putting them in my own uh, notes. Um, if the right guy comes along, would you go? This gotta be somebody from Memphis, cause this is how Memphis folks talk. But if the right guy come along, would I go? Nah. Are you single? Nobody got me pussy whip. I fix pussy. <laughs> What's your pet peeves with this? My pet peeves are um I don't like when people just lie for no reason. I can't stand that. Oh my gosh, like I didn't ask for that lie. Why are you giving it to me? But um, I do not like when people put their feet on me. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Or when somebody leave the toilet seat up. Like like when a dude go in the bathroom and leave the toilet seat up. I hate that. Um, what do you love about yourself the most? I love the fact that I am a strong individual. And I have grown and matured so much. So much. I really do love that about myself and it's still room for growth but I, I love the fact that I have grown so much and I can see it. If don't nobody else see it, I can see it. How do you like being a mom? Like, I love being a mom. King could get on my freaking nerves sometimes because he, for one, he's spoiled. For two, he's a crybaby and for three, he is bad as heck. But I love my baby to death. I wouldn't trade him for anything in this world and you know everybody should love being a mother if you don't I'm confused but I love love everything about being a mother the heartaches the headaches the crying the whining the smart all of it I love it all would you date a stud um it depends um, I don't like studs who are too, who act too much like guys. Like, I can't deal with those type of studs because, like, I'm not all the way, like, I'm, like, in between. Like, all the time you will catch me, like, dressing up, dressing up, it's like if I go to the club or something like that. Like, I don't just put on a pair of heels just because. I'm, like, a tennis shoe, tights, a t-shirt type of person. So, like... If I'm dating someone who's like too, too, too like on the manly side, it's like, uh, nah, I don't want that. You know, because then a lot of studs, like, their sex is different when, you, when you're talking to a female. It's, 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 it's different. Like, they always want to pull out a strap and I, no, I don't, no, no. So, I don't know. It depends on how... The, the stud is um yeah if the stud is can be submissive and dominate the same and dominate at the same time that is perfect 
uh, for studs still remember that they're a female and still got their feminine ways, that it's perfect. Other than that, nah, I can't do it. Um, how do you feel? How do you, how do your family feel about you being gay? My family, they cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know one of my sisters. She didn't care for the the fact that I came out being gay on Facebook. They don't care. Some of my families, most of my family members don't care. They just they have their little gay jokes. They don't care. They just love me for who I am at the end of the day. So, and that's what I love about my family. And um, that's what kind of, you know, upset me because upset me about myself because I wish I would have came out sooner than I came out, thinking that out of all people, my family was going to be my family was going to be the ones that judge me, and they are the complete opposite. So yeah. Um, how did you know you were really gay? I knew I was really gay when, um, oh, I don't think I should say this. I knew I was really gay when me and my child's father was at the end of our relationship. Like, we was together for almost three years. So, two years in the relationship, I knew I was gay. It is because I didn't care to um, have sexual intercourse with him. And it's like, I didn't care. The only time I cared to have it is when I really wanted it. Um, I didn't care for penetration. None of this stuff. So, it was like, I just knew that it was just, it wasn't for me. Like, being with a guy wasn't for me anymore. And, yeah, that's basically when I really just discovered it. Would you have a threesome? Baby, I'm 28. Been there, done that. 28? Oh, me? No. No, nah, I don't want that. Mm -mm. How many siblings do you have? I have two brothers and seven sisters, and I love them all to death. If y'all watching this video, I love y'all. What did you learn in 2018 that made you grow or wake up? That's a good question. What did I go through in 2018 to make me grow? The struggle. I went through the struggle. When I say 2018 and 2017 was two of the worst years of my life. Like, I went through the struggle. 2018? No. 2017 I didn't even get to get my baby nothing for Christmas I didn't get to get my baby shit for his birthday it was just one of the worst years of my life 2018 I just learned how to get up and just do what I want to do like stop stop lagging around being depressed and thinking that stuff is going to come to you just get up and do whatever it is that you want to do and start doing because doing it consistently get you get on your feet for your son do better for your son that, that's that like that uh, that struggle alone made me you know get to the place that i am today struggling and having having to depend on this person and that person to do stuff for me not eating you know what i'm saying through all of this through all of this let's make this clear my child has never missed a meal my child has always looked nice. I always had a haircut, nice clothes, nice shoes. And I thank my family for that because, like, without them, he probably would have been a part of my struggle. But he was, he was not a part of my struggle. And I thank God for the people in my life who, who helped me out with him when I really needed it. But, yeah, I went through a lot. <laughs> I went through a lot and a lot of that stuff. I went through it because of me, not because of nobody else. And I used to always blame other people and, feel, and try to get people to feel sorry for me when I was grown. And I could have, you know, the decisions I made, I made on my own. Nobody told me to make. So I had to just grow up. I had to grow up and just learn from my mistakes and just, you know, stop making the same mistakes but not learning from them. So this, this basically it. That sums it all up. The next question is, are you a stud or a female? I get this question so freaking much. I don't know why people think I'm a stud. I don't act like a stud. I'm very feminine. Um, I don't, I don't get why people think I'm a stud. I don't know, but I'm most definitely not a stud. I'm all feminine. I'm a feminine woman. No, I'm not a stud. 
no offense to the studs, but I'm just saying I'm not a stud. No, I'm not. When you are, when you're in a relationship, who's the more dominant one? It depends because in a fam fam relationship, it's like sometimes you will date women who are just completely submissive and want you to be dominant all the time, or sometimes you will date women when it come when it comes to films, you will date them date some a film that's dominant and then submissive you know they're both so it just depends on who i'm with and how the person is i could i love the fact that some women ha some films have balance like they could be submissive and dominant at the same time that is so sexy like this sexy would you ever marry a woman yes i will once i find me a wife i'm marrying a woman period if you don't like it, you can exit yourself off my channel. If you don't like it, get get away. Goodbye. I don't care. We don't care. It's clear that I'm gay. If you don't know that by now, and if you don't like that by now, and you're a part of my family or whatever, my life, my surroundings, I'm around. Baby girl, baby boy, you're not welcome. <laughs> so this is the last question, y'all. Do you take or give the strap? Baby. I don't know why people think being in a lesbian relationship is all about the strap. No, most of the time when I'm talking to somebody, we don't even own a strap. So, we don't take it or give it. Now, have I taken it or given it before? I have. But, I'm not a fan of taking it. Very much so a fan of giving it, but it's not a, it's not really a necessity when having sex. But yeah, you guys, I am done with this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. Comment down below and turn on your post notifications so you can receive all of my videos whenever I do post. Um, I'm mainly trying to post two times a week, you guys, because um, my son's birthday coming up and... Um, I've been working, working, working. Like, I work six days this week. This is my only off day. So, yeah. <laughs> I be trying, you guys. I'm trying to be consistent because I promised myself that this is something that I wanted to do. So, like, I have to be more consistent. Always remember positive vibes only. No negative vibes over here. Peace, love, and happiness. See you guys in my next video.